integer integer is made up of the natural number system and it is also made up of other things take a look if i were to write one two three four dot 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 these parts are written are the natural numbers so inside integer natural numbers exist then let me include zero inside integer zero also exists then let me include negative whole numbers minus one minus two minus three dot 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 shows it continues you can then see that inside integer natural number system is found alongside zero and negative whole number then there is another number system that is bigger and harbors all the integers and what is that number system the name of the number system is known as rational number system and it is written as q symbolically rational number system has all the integers inside so this minus dot 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 minus two minus one zero one two dot 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 are included inside the rational number system but they are not the only things included there it harbors more things and what are those other things they are one 1 rule over 5 for instance this is called fraction but the type of fraction that is included here is a fraction that the denominator of the fraction is not equal to 0 you could see here is 5 if it becomes 0 it therefore means that this 1 rule over 5 will become undefined so fractions that their denominators are not zero is included inside rational number system apart from the integers that we find here the other things that are included there are one terminating decimal take for instance 0 0.2 this 0 0.2 is a terminating decimal terminating in the sense that it is a decimal that has an end however there are some decimals that do not have an end those are called non-terminating decimals so all the terminating decimals are found inside rational number and last thing that can also be found inside rational numbers are non-terminating decimals but are repeating decimals what do i mean by this there are some decimals that are very very low that they are not terminating but at the same time they are repeating take a look at this if i write something like 0 0.3333333 and so on this is non-terminating it is a long decimal and this dot 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 shows it continues and 333 keeps repeating it can be found inside rational number system so in conclusion rational number system has all the integers it has repeating decimal it has terminating decimal it has fractions that the denominators are not zero then there is another number system that i'm going to talk about and that number system does not have a rational number system but it is the opposite of rational number system take a look at how it is symbolized q but this time prime that prime shows opposites they don't have anything in common if you could flash back you can remember that i said 
there is nothing in common between prime number, even number, and odd number. That is why their intersection is zero. Therefore, the intersection between rational and irrational is also zero. They have nothing in common. Let's not bring out the elements of a rational number system. The elements of this number system is the opposite of this. Opposite of repeating decimal that is found inside rational is the irrational. Therefore, a rational number system is made up of non-repeating decimals. If you have something like an answer in your calculator, 0 0.2345678 and so on. You see, the decimal is not repeating. It is example of a rational number system. But there are numbers that you could press that can actually give you this type of number system. Let's take a look at them. One is pi, which is symbolically written like this. Another is exponential, that is symbolically written like this. Another is salt. Let's take square root, form of salt. All these are under a rational number system. But none of this is found inside the rational number system. Therefore, the intersection between rational number system and the irrational number system is equal to empty set or written this form. So, apart from this number system, let us consider a bigger number system that has these two enemy number systems. There is a number system that contains both rational and irrational number system inside it. What is that number system that harbors them? Let's take a look. It is called real number system. The real number system has all the rational number systems inside. And at the same time, it also has the irrational number system. So, real number system is made up of both the rational and the irrational number system inside. So, I symbolize this as rational and irrational. Both of them are togetherly found inside real number system. At this juncture, let's now take a look at another type of number system altogether though it does not relate to real number system but it is almost opposite of real number system when you say something is real you can picture it but when you say something is imaginary it means you imagine it that number system is called imaginary number system this imaginary number system mathematically is always written as square root of minus one therefore whenever we see square root of minus one the answer is imaginary number system now the real number system and the imaginary number system together are found inside another bigger number system and that bigger number system is what is called complex number system therefore complex number system is made up of both the real number system and the imaginary number system and it is symbolically written as c and this is equal to some part of it are real and some part of it are imaginary we can then examine a question like this find the square root of minus four do you know that this question can be solved to an extent that it can be broken down into real parts and the imaginary parts take a look why we solve this is square root of break down this minus four into two components one component will be four and the other component will be minus one which if multiplied is still going to give us this then between these two components one has a square root and the other one does not the one that have a square root is four and square root of four is two so once the square root applies to four it automatically comes out 
and becomes 2. Then you still have square root remaining. And this square root harbors now only minus 1. That does not have a square root. You see minus 1 here. At this juncture, this thing has been broken down into two components. This is the real part and this is the imaginary part. I've told you earlier that whenever we see square root of minus 1, it stands for imaginary number. And this 2 is a real number. Do you know why? Because 2 is an example of an even number. An even number is found inside natural number. And natural number is found inside integer. And integer is found inside rational number. And rational number together with irrational number are found inside real number. Therefore, 2 can also be called a real number. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you've learned so much about number system. Do not forget to hit the subscription button. See you in the next class.